You know him? The hashtag will come up on stage, I promise you, okay? You know him? You love him? Please give him a massive welcome. The one, the only, Jack Septicai! Probably. Hi! Hi! Which chair am I sitting in? Is this you? Which one do you want? Which one looks best to you? Do you want rock, paper, scissors, fruit? Okay. I'll go for this one. Cool! We did it. I'm glad we sorted that out. How's everyone doing? Cool. God, mother of Jesus, this room is big. I don't know who they thought was going to show up. <laughs> Good morning, though, for it, I think. So you do have hashtag up on stage. Oh, I'm B. Hello. Yeah. So, we've had so many questions in, but I think just for maybe the mums and dads, who maybe don't know what you've done. And <laughs> I've ruined your children's lives. Yeah. Hang out with other YouTubers of Brighton. Um, yeah. There's a, there's a couple of friends that are Brighton. Um, Felix is there, of course. We, we hang out with him and Marcia every now and then. We hang out with Kick the PJ and his girlfriend Sophie. Um, uh, Joel Ruby is down there as well. Dave from Boy in a Band comes down and hangs out with us every now and then. We have, a, we have a little group of lads that go out for drinks every now and then called Mad Lads. Which, funny story, we did it for the first time with like a few of us and me, PJ and Felix were there and we told Felix about the Mad Lads subreddit. And I, I jokingly said, watch him turn around now and make a video on this tomorrow because he has no fucking ideas. And then two days later, he made a Mad Lads video. And then he became known as the guy who let everyone know what Mad Lads was. And I was like, motherfucker. You can all riot if you want. No, I don't think he's going to do that. Yeah. I'll never get back. Just break back. Just riot. Anarchy. Throw chairs. Ah, drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Owen? We got Owen in the crowd. Owen? Oh, Owen. He asked, uh, will you ever adventure in the Owen? Is that you? We got him, yeah. A very subtle Owen in the background. So Owen wants to ask, will you ever go on to apps like TikTok? Oh god. When, when do we see you do the Renegades? I've done, I've done a few interviews for like, like, journalists and outlets here. They all ask if I'm going on TikTok. I mean, I get it, there's a, there's a huge strong TikTok presence at VidCon and everything. I, I don't have any plans to go on TikTok, and it's not for any reason where I'm like... Okay, hold on. This is the thing, because it's not for any reasons where I'm like, no, not TikTok, ugh, stinky. Which seems to be the mentality of everybody, but, I mean, TikTok is basically what Vine was, just back in the day. I mean, everyone had the same reaction to Vine, and now everyone's like, no, Vine is like a fine wine. Vine was absolute garbage when it was around. And everyone shat on it all the time because of all the shit that was on it. All the time. And now it's just because all the curated compilations came out that everyone's like, Vine was better. It really wasn't. Take Day two of VidCon. We've Hello. probably spent the majority of it on the floor sitting here. Right, and the, the expo hall there. Got the expo hall in there. I'm into. I thought about doing the dinosaur and I did that and you didn't even acknowledge me. You know, we spent the majority of it sitting oh, here. What is it called? Blue. Blue. I've just had a slush puppy. Fun times. Did a couple of Q&As in a panel. Got another panel in. 45 minutes. So yeah. Hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm, hello. Hi. Enjoy it, please. Subscribe to my channel. Here we go. No, actually, subscribe to her channel because she needs more than me. Yeah, but thanks, but it's true. Yes. <laughs> 25 subs. 25. 25, but not counting. <laughs>
please do. Why do I have more stuff than oh, I've, I have been on? Well, you, you've been on there for like three years. Three year anniversary. So yeah, you've been on there like two years. Three years. Yeah, no. I'm, what I mean is about two years longer than I have. Why should oh. I? Because I started in 2018. So I'm nearly up. Um, nearly about a year and a half, and only 25 subs, guys. It's loud in here, and I think I'm coming down with a cold. Uh, as you can probably tell. Do you want to sneeze on me? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want any. No. So, yeah. Sit for now. Bye. Hello. We're in a flop now. You see? Dazzlers are ascending. Um, like, love, and the rest of this channel. We out here for this vlog. I love this camera. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it's awesome. Um, subscribe to this channel and um, stay dazzling and all that stuff. See you later. Thanks. Thank you. Alrighty, good morning, everyone. How are you? Good? Are we good? Uh, folks, welcome to uh, Gamers Unite, our panel here. Uh, there's myself, uh, Daz Mack, and uh, Flamella. Can we give a huge round of applause to Daz and Flamella? <laughs> first. Um, how are you both? Are you well? Very well. Good. Yeah, tired, but you know, still going, still ticking. I am knackered. You're knackered. I've had a coffee though, so. Do you find that when you come to events like VidCon, it is non stop the entire time? Do you actually get a chance to kind of take a moment and breathe? or what else? Sometimes. Like yesterday was full on. Yeah. Um, I had like a sandwich all day, okay. and uh, hopefully get more on the summer Get a football, we deserve it. Yes. Um, and so we were doing the shows yesterday as well, the community shows mm -hmm. on the stage as well, which is... Yeah, yeah, we ended up making them, that was a bit fun, we did like a meme challenge, and uh, we all had fun. Don't know if anyone was there. Was anyone at the meme challenge? Did yeah. you have fun? Yeah. Did Dan smash it? Of course he did. Yeah. Um, so oh, obviously, okay. yeah, game is soon how is it that you try and keep your viewers more entertained during your videos when it comes towards the end of it, where it's usually just you finishing the stuff? I don't, I just hope they stay tuned, and if not, then it's <laughs> just cool, like you can leave. <laughs> uh, I think the best metric to decide is uh, if people, if the comments are just benign and just talking to each other and trying to make jokes and things, that normally means you've done something wrong. Uh, right, sorry. If they hate comments, that means you've done something wrong. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Can we kick this thing off? Let's kick it off. Can we get chocolate milk nice and cold? Yeah, I got my chocolate milk. I'm good. It's not from, from Tesco. Tesco. I've never heard of Tesco until like two hours ago, so. Literally, since I left, talking about how good Tesco was. <laughs> we have all my brand books, so I don't know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Center of Coffee panel, and happy to be about mental health. Uh, <laughs> I found out about it from a post that she did on Instagram, um, and that and that's fine. That's like how, like some, that's how we get the news about our friends sometimes. Um, but instead of like publicly commenting, it, I was like that doesn't feel appropriate. So I'm going to support her by actually reaching out and messaging her privately. Um, and I always appreciate it when I receive that kind of support instead of like a friend commenting on an Instagram post where I'm like in distress or, or whatever it might be or quote tweeting like sorry babe and like no what I want you to do really is is text me or call me or ask if I'll, I want you to call me like that that kind of support where it's not performative. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like they're doing it just to show their followers how nice they are. Right, exactly. And so when it is Even if that's not what you're when it's private when it's a private thing that's happening, whether that's like via text or DMs or in person or call, like that is so meaningful. Sam Colby? Yeah. I mean sometimes you just need to have somebody to listen to you or like listen to other people. Like, one of the best things you can do is let somebody rant, like if they're going through a hard time, um, just like let them like get it all out, talk about it, because talking about it and getting it out and like just uh, not having it not constantly in your mind is, helps so much. If you're trying to support someone, uh, whether that be on social media or if it's your friends or your family, 
uh, a good place that I always start is the things that are deep down meaningful to them. Uh, like, you know, either, even just giving them time, but rather than uh, congratulating them on big, big face value accomplishments or things that are uh, shallow, like their parents or something like that, compliment them and support them on the things that they're passionate about, like their, their true passions and hearts and stuff that they, they find dear to their heart. It'll mean so much more than just commenting on the stuff that they're known for and like uh, the rest of their life, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> as opposed to, for, for, for me, for example, as opposed to like saying, oh, like, like your YouTube videos, like, I would genuinely appreciate if my friends came up and said, oh, I really like the way that you uh, think, or the way that you, like, um, said this specific point, just because it would mean more to me to know that they actually listen, as opposed to just, like, making general statements. Well guys, that is a wrap for VidCon 2020. Um, as you can tell, I'm back home now. And it was a long journey home because rail replacements, you know, buses, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I'm finally home. Had a really amazing weekend. Made some amazing memories. Some that I'll never forget, like meeting Sam and Colby, uh, Jake Webber, Corey Shearer, who are four people who mean the world to me and I adore them, have done since the Vine days, uh, just absolutely amazing, amazing people. Um, met Daz again, as you can tell, obviously by his bit in the vlog. Um, again, he is very, very special to me, he's always got a special place in my heart. Um, and then met Jack guy as well, didn't get any footage of him apart from when he was doing his Q&A. Um, but he was a really sweet guy, and, oh, just the whole weekend was amazing. Massive, massive thank you to my mum, who actually bought me these tickets. Uh, they were a Christmas present for me last year, and truly means the world to me that my mum did get me the tickets. Um, what else? And obviously thank you to Jess for coming with me and spending a hotel, uh, ah! <laughs> Spending the weekend with me and, you know, booking the hotel and, you know, just being an amazing friend as always. So, yeah, that's it for this vlog, guys. Um, if you liked it, please hit like, comment down below your favourite part, uh, subscribe to me, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Um, I've got, I've got a couple of videos... <laughs> planned that will be coming to you guys over the next few weeks so look out for them but i hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video all right bye